Hey y'all, welcome back to Stacy's Home. In today's video, we are going to be making three super simple chicken dishes that your family will love. Let's get cooking. To get started for this recipe, we are going to take one third cup of flour, one teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper, and then we are going to coat our one and a half to two pounds of chicken tenders in this mixture. To our pan, we are going to add one tablespoon of butter along with one tablespoon of olive oil. Once that is heated up, we are going to add our chicken tenders and fry them. I cook them about three to four minutes on each side, turning them only once so that they stay nice and crispy. Once they are done cooking, we are going to remove them and set them on a plate and set them to the side. To make the sauce, I'm going to start by juicing one lemon. Then in a bowl, I am going to put three tablespoons of water along with one tablespoon of cornstarch. And I'm gonna whisk that together very well. Once I have that mixed together, I am going to add one quarter cup of honey. Three tablespoons of lemon juice. And then two teaspoons of soy sauce. And we're going to give that a good whisk. Back to our skillet, we are going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic and one half cup of chicken broth. Bring that to a slight simmer and then we are going to add in the honey lemon mixture that we made. Whisk that together really well. And then we are going to add back in our chicken tenders and mix them together until the sauce thickens. And you are done. I served mine alongside a box of the pastaroni parmesan cheese noodles and some broccoli with cheese. This one was definitely a hit with the family. For our next recipe, we are going to be making a chicken chow mein. To get started, we are going to shred three large carrots. And we are going to shred two and a half cups of cabbage. We will set that to the side. And then in a bowl, we are going to mix together one tablespoon of cornstarch along with half of a cup of chicken broth. And we are gonna mix that together. And we are gonna add one tablespoon of sugar, three tablespoons of oyster sauce, along with two tablespoons of soy sauce. Then we are going to add one teaspoon of sesame oil, mix that together really well and set it to the side. Then in a pot of boiling water, we are going to add 12 ounces of thin spaghetti noodles and get those cooking. 
Then in a pan, we are gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil, and we are gonna add our one pound of chicken breast that has been cut up along with one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. And we are gonna cook that until it is cooked all the way through. Once the chicken is done, you're gonna remove that from the pan and add a tablespoon of olive oil in the pan along with our cabbage and carrots. You're gonna saute that along with one tablespoon of minced garlic. And you're gonna cook that for about three to five minutes until it is wilted down. Once the cabbage and carrots are soft, we're gonna add in our cooked pasta, our chicken, and then we are gonna add in the sauce mixture that we made and stir that together and let it cook for a few minutes while the sauce thickens and you are ready to serve. For this recipe, we are going to dice up one onion, and we are gonna put one tablespoon of olive oil in a pan and cook up our onion until it is nice and soft. At this point, you're going to want to add one tablespoon of minced garlic, but I forgot and added it in later in the recipe. But after the garlic is mixed in with the onions, we are going to add one can of black beans that have been rinsed and drained, one can of corn that has been rinsed and drained, along with two cups of shredded chicken. Then for our seasonings, we are going to do two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper. We are going to mix that around until everything is coated. Then we are going to add one quarter cup of cilantro along with the juice of one lime. Then you will continue to let this cook until everything is warmed all the way through. I served mine on a bed of rice that I cooked with chicken broth, and then I topped it with some cheese, sour cream, and cilantro. Thanks for watching today's video. Please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when our next video comes out.